Well, thanks for joining us as we continue to look at these passages regarding prayer in this Engage uh, series, 30 days to engage with God. Uh, let's look at today's passage and then make some comments. Matthew 6, 14 and 15, for if you forgive others their trespasses, Jesus says, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. I mean, forgiveness is such a wonderful spiritual truth, isn't it? I mean, what could be better? When, when, we, when we genuinely go to the Father with repentance, He is faithful and just to forgive our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness, 1 John 1, 9. He blots out our transgressions from the record and chooses to forget our sins, Isaiah 43, 25. David writes that God removes our sins as far as the east is from the west, Psalm 103, verse 12. Man, that's great news, isn't it? Just don't ask me to forgive anyone else when they sin against me. I mean, I'm glad God forgives me. But how can I forgive the person who said those hurtful things? How can I forgive the person that derailed my career? How, how can I forgive my ex-spouse who brought such pain to me and our family? Sure, I love God, and I love the fact that he forgives me all the things I do to him. But don't ask me to forgive others for the things they do to me. It doesn't work like that, does it? The spiritual truth of forgiveness must be understood must be accepted, and must be applied. So spend time reading and rereading our passage today. And don't let another person's action plant bitterness in your heart. God has more for you than that. Father, don't let us live with hearts that are empty of forgiveness. Help us be those to forgive others when they hurt us, when they cause us pain, help us, Father, be those who demonstrate your love and your grace in the lives of others, just like you have demonstrated your grace in our lives. Pray for your help. In Jesus' name, amen.